We are back with a new video. I've had some fun over the last couple days. It snowed here in Halifax. The snow is all gone and the temperature is actually 14 degrees today. So I'm gonna uh, get back in the water. So we're back at my favorite place, Norris Cove, actually known as, formerly known as Turples Cove, which was a fishing village. There's actually, I'm gonna put up a picture right there you can see that it used to be an old fishing village. Um, and that's the reason why I've been finding so many bottles. Wherever there's human activity, you find garbage and treasure. The tide is on the way out. Hopefully the visibility is good, I'm not sure. And uh, sorry, I was just seeing if I saw someone in the woods back there. Nope. So I'm gonna do a mix of things today because the tide is so low. I'm gonna do some mud larking where I'm gonna kind of go in the ankle deep water here and uh, see if there's any trash or treasures buried underneath the rock and mud. I've pulled stuff out of here before. Uh, with the tide being so on the way out, you never know what you'll find. Like there's an example of some glass, just an interesting glass top there. Um, I found that a stoneware jam jar just over here. Um, so, judging from that picture that you guys saw earlier in the video, uh, like there's an old remnant of an old uh, dock. So, most likely there's stuff in the water. And it actually looks really clear right now. So, yeah, really excited about this. Alright, let's do this. So, we're going to start today not going right into the water. We're just going to kind of go through the mud in that ankle deep water, see what I can find. If there's not too much, then I'll be getting in. So, what we got here? What is this? This looks like a leg to like a old doll, like a Barbie doll. Look at that, first find. The mud is like super like deep in here. Like just like really stepping my feet in. So there's probably lots of possibilities for buried stuff. So if this was like an old dock, what am I thinking? Like maybe they threw stuff off to the side. So this is where I found the stoneware jar. Let's see if we can pull anything out of the mud here. This shoreline has probably changed so much over its history. Uh, yeah, this is just like full of rocks. I was doing this in Prospect last week and uh, I pulled out like a little glass jar just like in a spot that I didn't think there'd be anything. So you never know what you'll find. Let's clear this away. Nothing. Just mostly rock. What's this? Got some pottery. Broke glass. Part of an old ceramic jug. I actually think I found that last time I was here. It says Toronto on it. I'll put this guy here. And part of a rubber tire. Let's get that guy fur out of the water. Put him up here. Okay, well, I'm gonna get in the water now and see what I can find out there. Woo-hoo! 
Woo. That was a successful dive. The water pretty good, actually. Really happy with that. So, all right, I'm gonna get dried up. Beautiful night here. I love Nova Scotia. Hey guys, out of the water. I'm gonna walk over to where I've got all my loot. Got a couple interesting little bottles tonight that I'm happy about. I'll show you guys what I have. So, one of the neatest, most strange things, obviously, is this uh, cowboy hat. <laughs> I have never found uh, a hat in the water before. So, this is a pretty unusual find. I've got uh, lots of Sprite bottles and beer bottles. I thought this one was an interesting shape and color. Like, look at the lid on that thing. It says no deposit, no return. And it's got like this kind of strange green color to it. That was an interesting bottle. Uh, got a tiny little milk bottle here. There's no logo on it. So I don't know what company made that. I've got this cool little Buckley's bottle. Uh, I like finding these little bottles. It tastes awful, but it works. <laughs> um, I've got, this is my second one of these that I found. The other one I found up in Cape Breton this summer. Uh, I don't know what these were for, maybe like a medicine or ointment jar. This one's pretty interesting. I can't get the mud out of it right now. On the bottom it says, made in the US. And on the side, it says, Astring O Soul. So, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. It's uh, an interesting shaped bottle. We've got like some pl a plastic bottle here, some broken glass. We've got this big bottle here. It's an interesting shape. I think there's something on the bottom of that. I'm gonna clean that up when I get home. We've got this, uh, aerosol can or butane fuel can, sorry. Uh, brown beer stubby, Sprite bottles, a beer bottle. Uh, this is an interesting shaped bottle. It's got a screw top, but just a big old square shaped uh, bottle, maybe like a liquor, like a spirits bottle. I broke the top off when I was trying to get the mud out of it, so that's a shame. And an old shoe, some beer bottles, and that's it. So it was a good night. It's good to, good to be in the water. I'm really valuing whenever I'm able to get in because it's going to be happening less and less as winter approaches. So I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are in the world.